Wow, my editing feels so consistent on these settings. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to be trying Faye Sway's settings. This is probably going to be the most requested video I've had recently just because I tried Sway settings when he played on Exponential. But since he switched to Linear, everyone wants me to make another video. So here we are. But if you guys could quickly drop a like on the video and subscribe, that'd be much appreciated. As well as let me know in the comments whose settings you'd like me to try next. I will be reading a lot of comments. Anyway, let's get right into the video. All right, so I'm just going to do some quick 1v1s on my settings, just so you can see how I play normally. Then I'm going to try face wave settings. So I've done a couple of 1v1s on my settings. Now I'm going to try Sway's settings. So Faceway posted this video over a month ago on his new settings. He's probably changed it since then, but it's the only settings that he's got up on his channel. But regardless, he used to play Exponential, which is when I tried his settings back in the day. And now he's on Linear. So now we're going to try his Linear settings. All right, well, what have we got here? So we got Buonetta 1.3, Horizontal Vertical 78. That's actually, that's pretty decent, actually. He's probably, he's probably changed it since this video, but these settings are looking a lot similar to mine now. Like his Exponential exponential settings were like completely different but his settings actually look really clean now and his dead zones are seven and five so they're the same as mine all right cool all right so these are currently my settings right here so let's drop that down i think his was 1.3 and 1.3 and 78, 78, 14 and 14. And that's about his settings the same. He runs seven and five. I'm gonna run 10 and five just cause I get stick drift. But yeah, everything is pretty much the same as his now. So, so basically I'm just gonna be trying a slower sensitivity which might make me more consistent. I'm keen to find out. Alrighty, so Sway settings, first impressions. And honestly, they feel really smooth actually. Like it, it's a lot slower than mine. Everything is just so much smoother and like, it's like I know where my crosshair is gonna be all the time. It'll take a little bit to get used to, but this is nowhere near as bad as these settings last time. So I can't, <laughs> I can't be as fast uh, on Sway settings, but maybe my edits might be more consistent. I can do some 1v1s and find out. It's a bit slow, but Wow, okay. Oh, wow. Oh, I can't flick as much. Yeah, my editing's way more consistent. Why didn't I edit? As soon as I say that, I fail and edit. Yeah, wow. I kind of feel like sway a little bit, like just being like smooth and consistent. Like, I'm not kidding. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, this guy. 
This kind of versing is actually really good. That was so bad. Wow, my editing feels so consistent on these settings. I don't know why. Oh, okay, let's go. Guys, let me know if like I'm playing smoother. I can't really tell, but like sensitivity definitely feels a lot slower. And um, I feel like that might make me a bit smoother, I'm not sure. How is he still alive? What? I just feel like so much more consistent on sway settings, like, I don't know, it's just like a lower sensitivity, it's just like, made me so much more consistent, I don't know what else to say, it's just, I, I like low sensitivity, it feels good. Oh, I hit him just then, what? How is that just a hit marker? No. <laughs> Alright guys, and that's gonna be it for this video. In conclusion, I actually really like Sway's new settings. They just made my edits and builds, although a little bit slower, so much more consistent than my normal sensitivity. I'm definitely gonna give low sensitivity a good shot and see if I like it better than my high sensitivity. Shout out to my man Faze Sway as well, he's the GOAT. But that's gonna be it for this video. If you made it to the end, drop a pink heart in the comments. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.